What up, everybody? It has been forever, but I'm back. And uh, I'd like to say we're doing stuff, but I'm really just messing around today. Um, I figure this is going to be more vlog style video because I don't know. I miss making these videos. I miss talking with you guys. And uh, well, I miss I miss doing stuff with that truck. There she is out there. You guys want to go take a look at that? Let's go take a look at that. All right. So there's the car, and there's the truck. I know. Like we really didn't cover how we got to this point. So um, yeah, I figured it was good to start documenting this stuff right now again and start making these videos because big changes are coming very, very soon. Static. For anyone that's new to the channel, static. That being said, I live here in Arizona and the weather is finally starting to uh, get mild. It's a little humid today. We've got some monsoon storms and stuff, but that's not gonna stop me from, uh, you know, working on the truck, doing a few things and, you know, who knows what else. So, what does that mean, weather and big changes coming? That means that truck will be going from static to bagged by the end of the year. Static to bagged by the end of the year. Mark my words. Maybe while we're at it, we'll pull that cab off and we'll just really get into the frame and all that stuff, but I think that's gonna be next year. I think we're gonna stick to cross members so she lays frame by the end of the year. I think that's a nice, good goal. I think we're gonna make that happen. Get the front bagged, do what we need to for the back. It might be temporary right now, it just might be a bridge, basic bag set up out back. Or we might see that whole thing and just, you know, get it ready for the body drop that will be coming down the road. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But my goal is to get it done by the end of this year, which is only like three or four months, really. So, you know, but today, check this out. Fun stuff coming. What's up? I was ready for you. Huh? I said I was ready for you. I know. I just, I left as soon as I got your message. <laughs> Sweet! I had to document this shit. Really? <laughs> Over you. Spray me with the PB! <laughs> oh shit. That's it, that's it. Alright, iron hole. Let that soak for a few minutes. Threads look pretty good on these ones though. Right? Tell me back. YouTube. What's up, YouTube? One side done, one side to go, fellas. This is what you do when you want to go low. Got the boys' truck in the garage today, which is cool because this is a first for me. I never have anybody over. So that's kind of cool. And then I got this rad truck over, so how cool is that? I'll leave my nice one home. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's a wrap. Wait till you see this girl hit the ground right here. Oh, my Lord. That pink is pretty. Look at that camber. Look at that. Dude, that fitment is so good. And just like that, we made it into the evening. And now it's time to ride. All right, so it's later in the night. We got his truck all hooked up. I'm so happy about it. You gotta do backup videos, always. This is, a, this is the difference between the pros and the amateurs. I'm gonna lose that. It's not gonna download the cloud. We're gonna miss all this great shit. <laughs> Got the job done, sitting much better. This is for later, later. Hey, this video for later, later. For later, later. All right, let's do a walk around of this whole truck like uh, I probably should have done a long time ago because as I was saying, there's been a ton of changes. So, you know, let's go take a look. All right, so let's shoot a quick walk around of this bad boy for you guys, show you what's changed. First up, this is probably the most noticeable, right? Like the wheels, we're on, uh, we're on 18s now 
And uh, these these wheels, like they've seen some use. Great story about these things is I found them on you know local offer up page, right? <laughs> when I say local, I'm in Arizona. I found them in California. So I hit up my boy and I said, hey, you want a road trip tomorrow? Let's go grab these. And uh, good friends will go with you. So we did. Back and forth to California in a day. Nab the reels. Let that be a lesson out there. If you message someone on uh, offer up, marketplace, Craigslist or whatever, and you make a deal, be a man of your word. Show up, have the cash in hand, buy them. And then come back and find some tires and, uh, you know, put them on because they look good. We move around to the front. Um, you guys can see what's up here. And I think we covered this once before, right? Did the full swap in the front. This is OEM, at least as far as I can tell. I went and sourced this again from a marketplace ad. Um, repop, repop. And then I popped a pothole, ran over some crap on the freeway. So you know how that goes. Lights. Yeah, the lights, like this is the third pair of lights that kind of sort of fit right clear corners clear corners looking for the diamond cuts but decided to go with this package i'll put the amazon link below this was pretty cool man because it came with um it came with the lenses like everything sealed right the kit was a nice kit came with all the relays the wiring harness like literally just hook it up to the battery it's been really good i'm low enough to where i'm not like blinding anybody with this kit or anything so you know Use it your own discretion, I guess. Clear corners. Uh, aftermarket. Four wheel drive fenders. I do have OEM fenders. Like they came with the same Forerunner four support or uh, Forerunner core support. Original front bumper. I'm gonna save that to when the truck's like in its completed state and ready for paint. I'm thinking long term. So for now, just you know the aftermarket's like everybody else. So. If I decide to keep these wheels, I don't know. Like I'm always on the lookout for wheels, right? So if I decide to keep these wheels, you know, we'll get them stripped and uh, get the chrome off, have them, have them straightened out. You can see they got a lot of curb rash on them. I own it, I don't care, whatever. But uh, if I decide to keep these down the road, we'll get the emblems removed, probably get new caps and uh, get these all cleaned up. Not bad, not bad for what I paid. Still got dent, still got body work, still got stuff to deal with. Not much changed here other than, you know, I started to work some of the big downs out just to see if the bed was salvageable for like the professionals. Probably swap these out. Forerunner mirrors off the same Forerunner, right? I actually have the Forerunner rear bumper too because, you know, you never know, you might get crazy. I figured if I figured if I never found another bed, all my bad spots on the other bed were in my rockers, so I could always just cut it off, put a forerunner on, do the old forerunner mod until a good bed shows up. You can look down the side of this, you know, this is just rattle can. I rattle canned it in the driveway. I didn't even hit it with scotch bright or nothing. Took about six cans, if anybody's interested. Crummy old tail lights get addressed soon. Oh, look at this. We move out back. Let me give you guys a little lesson about buying aftermarket LKQ tailgates off of Amazon, okay? I might have got this at car parts, I don't recall. But let me um let me give you a little advice. Your truck will get noticeably higher when you take off the 300 pound tailgate that came stock on this truck for the flimsy aftermarket LKQ cheap replacement thing that comes because woo! Boy did she uh she raised up probably about a good inch and a half or two which is good which is good it'll save the frame rails the rear end saves the drive shaft a little bit because it was a little lower than it should have been roll pan let's talk roll pan uh yeah i got one this one is from um can't remember avs avs on the web i bought this funny thing about this is i bought it and then like three weeks went by i forgot they had it during like one of their sales and then i got an email saying oh we don't carry that part we're gonna refund your order and I was like, dang, that sucks because I would have just went and bought one somewhere else. Like, you know, lesson learned. And then it kind of like, you know, the charge never went off my card and it kind of showed up. And I forgot about it again and I should have disputed the charge, but I'm glad I didn't because here it was in my door. Now, it fit pretty good, you know? You guys are probably looking at all the boogery stuff right now and that's cool, I would be too. Like, uh, friends shouldn't let friends weld their trucks. Get, get a professional, man. Like. 
yeah or practice on something else first and that's why i don't care because i'm learning on this ride and the only way you're gonna learn is by making these kind of mistakes so i'm gonna own it it was me i did that horrible job horrible job but you know what are you gonna do right i actually cut it off once and redid it and i think when i cut it off now my gaps became too big and now I wasn't able, and then I was burning too hot, and then I was frustrated, and I should have walked away from the project. So learn a lesson from me. When things aren't going right, put down the welder, walk away. Call like a qualified friend to do it, or wait till the next day when you've got a good night's sleep. And uh, we'll move on to this side. You can see the bed on this side a little better. So anybody out there, you know, you got any doors, got any parts you want to get rid of, doors or anything like that, hit me up. You know, I'll probably do some chrome handles down the road. I don't know. You guys know what's coming next now that it's cooling off here in beautiful Arizona. We're probably going to be uh, starting on the back. Maybe we'll do the front first, but bags are coming. Bags are definitely coming. Air is in the future because the goal was always to have a bagged and bodied truck. So we're not stopping here. So stay tuned. That's it. That's your walking around. Hope you liked the video. Now's the part where you can uh, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Put the negative comments down below. Let me know how bad that rope and job really is. I mean, I could just bury it in Bondo and hide it, but I think I'm gonna cut it off and do it right because the whole point of going through this process is to teach myself a few things and learn to know what I can do and what skills I have, what skills I can learn, and well, what work I need to farm out. And I'm starting to think that that metal work's probably one of those jobs I should probably just pay someone to do, so. So inside the auto zone for some fuses we go and uh, you know that should fix the problem for now if you guys know like the Toyota hack for why that happens you know it's moisture I've read online it's getting wet leave a comment down below and let me know how to fix this problem because it would be like really appreciated all right fuses Probably wiser to get a four pack than a two pack. Yeah. Ooh, hot wheels. All right, so we got the fuses. Now it's uh, now it's time to uh, get it fixed. Got to put our amp fuse back in. Put this back in where. It 